Are you recording? Yep. Oh, so right. this is the Delano. Huh? We're at the Delano plot out here at Riverside Cemetery in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. A lot of uh, the Roosevelt families buried here. So we figured we'd just come check it out. You want to see inside your mausoleum? I can actually show you the inside. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. I can't really fit my hand in the camera in there. Oh well, we got, once again, got Sean, Michelle, and Tracy. And, of course, me. So, we're going to see what happens. Sean's mother has a paranormal team, and she was actually out here at this area and had some experiences, and we're going to see if we can if we can duplicate them. Over here towards this tree, she had a, a necklace pulled pulled out away from her. So Tracy's got some some jerry beads on and pretty colors. There's some children buried out here pretty close to this and we're gonna see if, uh, if they want to play with the pretty jerry beads. But no I didn't get these some jerry Do you have the recorder? Yeah. I heard children play around this big tree. You must have so much fun climbing this big tree. Background voices are Sean and Michelle. They're a little ways from us. I feel like to speak to some children. You speak really loud with this little device I'm holding with a red light. It will pick up your voice and we can hear your voice later. While they do that, let's see if we can find Sean. Something's over, like much over my shoulder or something. I don't know what it is. I'm just deleting some pictures here. I wish we had a. I wish we had a. Uh, I know I'm getting bored of doing these cemeteries, folks. But hey, right now we get we got some big things on the books coming up over in Cape Cod. In June, we're going to start doing some places over there. It ought to be quite interesting. So you won't be seeing us in cemeteries much longer. But this is a good one. I never heard of it. Who else is buried out here? Who else are we checking out? Uh, you have, well, you have the Roosevelt's, Delano, and then you have Henry, Hudson Rogers, the man of Fairhaven, donated the, the high school, Wilson Library, done a lot. Our Lady's Haven. What one? Yeah. The town Hall. Well, let's go see what we can find. I'm not going to just stand here. I guess actually we should make our way from here over to Henry Huddleston's or whatever his name is. Up here there's really not that much. Is there any 
spirits here or anybody that wants to say something, you can say it as loud as you can. And I can get your voice on this little device I'm holding. If you want to be on camera, go on the camera so we can see you. Is that in the middle of the cross? Yep. Watch. I mean, I see the cross, but I don't see anything in the middle of it. It's gone. What it was it? See it right in the middle? <laughs> see, see, see that right in the middle? I don't know where my glasses are. All I see is a cross. There's a cross and there's something right there in the middle. I took the same picture before that and it's gone. Hmm. Well, we'll look at it. See? It's Bigger not there. Later. That's weird. Alright. I just wanted to huh. make note of that. I mean, I, that's little. Without my glasses I can't see it. So I'll put them on later and look at it. <coughs> well, not much for cemeteries, but you never know. I mean, if, anybody's fo if any of you have followed us, you've seen on... Oh, she's doing EVP, so I'll come over here and talk to you. You know, we've got we've got some cemeteries where we've got some good EVPs. And they're all on SoundCloud. If you want to listen to them, just go to New Bedford Paranormal, and they'll be there. SoundCloud.com, New Bedford Paranormal. I'm not gonna waste this 30 minutes. I like to get over to it. Tell us in Rogers. Are there any K2 meters? Oh, yeah. Nothing's gone off yet. Don't Is anybody here? We got permission to be here by the caretaker that Henry, you'll be ever is here. Can you see anything in there? Yeah. Hold this. Let me pull it What the heck is that? That's the door knocker. Hey Henry, are you home? Well, I'm trying to stir up the spirits. Yeah, because you know. You want to get inside? Yeah. We're going to make noise. Make noise like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's really not much for you all to see in there. That's his, that's his throne right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. So I'm trying. Walt is here. Right oh, arm, Gifford Rogers. Gifford Rogers. You know what Gifford Rogers? He was a pilot. Oh, it's his son. What's on this side here? What's on this side here? Does anybody that wants to speak to me, go ahead and speak. I'll, I'll be able to hear you later. Let's go roam out here into the darkness, get by ourselves. Think there might be anything out in here? I don't know. 
be nice to see a black shadow run across right now or something peek out from behind a gravestone over there. How about all the children in the cemetery that like to come out and play? Did you follow us around yet? You can come out and give me a tug or something. Grab onto my jacket or... Here, let's grab Tracy and stand over here by the this other side and do some EVPs. See if she can get anything to come and talk to us. No, apparently she'd rather just stand there. Oh. Okay. Apparently she's not coming. Apparently we're doing what they want. school too, right? Yeah. Does it upset you about the school though? You you didn't want anything added on to the school and they did it anyway? The sneaky way? Do you, do you, are you upset about that? They went against your stipulation and did it anyway. Are you here at all, Henry? If you're here, can you let us know by, by saying something as loud as you can into this little box I'm holding. Or let us get a picture of you in the camera. Is there anybody here? Mary. Any, any of Henry's family here? What was that? This is a beautiful mausoleum. You must be proud of this. You have your own mausoleum. That's how important of a man you are. Is it okay that we're sitting here in your mausoleum right now? Henry, I just want to say I'm, I'm a longtime uh, resident in Fairhaven. You uh, definitely brought some good history to this to this small town. You, you, your resources that you brought, donating donating uh, the high school to us, which I went to, Wilson Library, uh, where my mother works, Our Lady's Haven. I just want to say thank you. Flashlight drop, sorry. Henry, do you feel, how do you feel knowing that you, you have accomplished so much for everybody here in this town and how they speak so highly of you? It must make you feel good. Do you feel at peace knowing that you were a person that everybody knew you were? 
that you are a happy person and a helpful person. Does it make you feel at peace knowing that? All right, over to the kids. Easy there, Phil. Yeah. Too fast. All right. Yeah. All right. Where's the kids? Uh, oh, we're gonna. I guess we'll go back down here and down the hill. Thanks so much, Henry. Well, they're all talking like they think something's following us. So if it is, since I'm the last one in the line, I guess I'll be the first to know. The cameraman's always the one that gets it. You ever notice that? We're trying to find the children's area. There's a special area out here which is where children are buried. And when we first got here, it was daylight, but now it's pitch black. You can't see two feet in front of you. I hope there is something following us. Hey, look, you want to see something funny? What? There is, there's six cocks buried right here. <laughs> Actually, one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. <laughs> when he said six. There's only six. Yeah, six. Six cocks buried right here. This wow. must be their stones. S stones of cocks. <laughs> this is the rated R version. <laughs> Come on, play with us. There's three out. I think the children are up in that section over yeah. there. Yeah, when we came up and we took a left. We're basically lost. Oh, look, Cox and Wood. <laughs> Cox and Wood, all in one place. That's actually funny if you think about it. Yep, it is. <laughs> All right, I gotta pause. All right, we're just gonna sit here in the middle of the sea of stones and do some EVPs. I see a good spot to sit right there. Okay, this isn't the children's section, but these children. But let's just see if there's anything here that wants to talk. Is anybody here that wants to talk to us? Probably don't get much company out here at this time at night, do you? We're here to uh, just visit with you, 
maybe get some messages from you. Just speak as loud as you can and we'll hear it later. Maybe jump in a picture as the lights are flashing off the cameras. You see that? Just go and jump in front of the camera and get a picture of you. I know you want to be known. that you're here and that's what we're here to do is to see if you are here Why do you stay here? Can I say something? Yeah. If any spirits want to uh, walk up to that red light, I'll show you. It's absolutely harmless. It's not gonna. It's not gonna hurt you. Nothing. I mean, see, you can touch it. You can do whatever. But if you actually walk towards that, we'll be able to capture your image, and and. We can show you to the world that you're still here. So, which I wouldn't know why you would be here to begin with, because if I died right now, I don't think I'd hang around where they buried me. I'd find better places to go, like maybe a strip club or something, you know, uh, but or whatever floats it. But if you have a message or something, if you got family members that would like, you would like to, uh, to see you again, I mean, we can do, we can do a lot with this. We can get your message out there to other people. And the Tracy, the one that's been talking, she's holding a device that that will capture your voices. Is there is, is there anybody that's been following us around? Everybody feels like they've been Walking up here, everybody feels like they, like something was following them. Uh, I, I, I didn't get that feeling, but if three people felt like they were being followed and got the heebie-jeebies, you must be here. So why don't you just make yourself known? It's, it's not going to hurt you to answer our questions. I didn't feel like I was being followed. What I said was when we were in front of Henry, Henry Rogers. As I stepped back and I went around like around the building like that where there's trees in the distance, I felt like something was like there, you know, I get that little chill for a couple of seconds and it was gone, but I didn't feel like anything was following. I felt the following thing now coming up into the, the, the children area. That's when I finally felt that. And I hadn't felt it along the I just the felt like way. something was watching us from behind the building where I peeked out at. Yeah, like just somebody was there. Well, I'm holding a... Uh... Can you all move to the left? My hand. Move this. Everybody move to the left. Okay, you're good, Michelle. Okay. Sean needs to move over. Tracy needs to move over. Come over this way, guys. If anybody's here, just right there, stop. Come up to my hand. Touch it. Okay, Michelle, you got to go back in towards Tracy. Okay, you're good. And now Sean needs to move to the left. Everybody stand in front of this stone. Okay. There. I'd sure like for somebody to talk to us. I know you have something to say. I'll come out here by myself. I'm everybody. Do you talk to each other in the spirit world? Can you tell us what it's like on the other side, in the spirit world? Yeah, it's warm. 
I'm gonna lay my jacket here on this on this stone. I don't think the camera see this stone. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna lay my jacket here on that stone. If you don't like that jacket there, take it off. Mm, no, Joe, you can't see it. Barely. I have these beautiful necklaces on, they're shiny necklaces. And if you pull on one of them, I will let you have it. It will be your necklace. You'd be the only spirit in this cemetery that has their own pretty necklace. Take a bunch of pictures in the trees. Down back here? Yeah, like all the trees, just shoot pictures in all the trees. That's where the most ecto comes from. Because they like to hang above and look down. Okay. And the trees give a backdrop. Just to catch the ecto on film? To actually catch it. Okay. How do you see yourselves and what kind of form do you see yourselves when you're on the other side? We would like to know things like this. Do you look like you did when you died? Are you happy? Is it, is it a happy place? Huh? Do you know the date today? Can you tell me what date the date is today? There are any children here? If there's children here, I'd sure like you to come over and touch my hand. You can hold my hand while I walk with you. If you want to walk with us, you can hold my hand. Jesus Christ, you're <laughs> Probably running out of time. Nope, I think we're at 29 minutes. Where's the IR? Right, right here. Is it on? Yeah. Are you, do you walk uh, along bad spirits too? Is there bad spirits sometimes you walk what with? What does it say for time? Uh, 28, 19, but I have the other, I have the other desk. Okay. Do we need to do anything with this one before we pull it out? Nope, after we'll the point, out. we'll just switch it right up. Is anything here? Oh. I don't need to put the new disc in and go to a new spot. Yeah. I'd like